Greetings, you proud sons of Rome, and welcome back. I actually took a turn from uh, the last episode to the speedy gameplay up a bit, because uh, this is a very long campaign. Not really much happened, we got some uh, settlement uh, sacked and some settlement uh, raised even. But we have um, a good old priest who is leveled here, so we're gonna start off with him. Spread religion, yes please. Encourage dissent, not really useful for our purposes. Preach doom can be useful. Uh, I'm gonna go with that right there. Um, so, you see, we have a solid income coming in now, so uh, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a building spree, as it were. Now, here, the giant slayers will have to be dealt with. So, I am thinking about raising an army in either of these settlements, raising an army to combat these guys. They are a bit attritioned, um, which obviously is wonderful. We're just gonna check over the Empire really quickly uh, to see what uh, the crack is. So uh, we have the army here to keep these guys subjugated. We also have these guys uh, to keep Northern Africa in, uh, in check as it were. We can actually build something fun here as well. See, the public order isn't all too good there. We have a solid food production. Um, so we're gonna go with a colony. You see there, the food consumption becomes minus 20, but public order plus one. So we're gonna go with that choice right there. And also Cartago uh, can look at additional things to increase the, uh, the public order. So you see there, maintenance cost 200 is quite steep, but so it's either that or food consumption. I'm actually gonna go with a capital there. So you see, three plus in public order, and uh, that is what we are after right there. Public order decreasing here as well. Um, food consumption also goes down a bit. That is um, that's just how it is, I suppose. So, first army will be created in either Verona or Aquelia. I haven't really think this true, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Can we actually? No. No agents. Um, handler. It's good. Political animal. No, not really. Uh, <laughs> a happy merchant. How quaint. Governed prince, province. So he needs to be a, a governor. Champion rider. Marksman. That can be quite good indeed. Fearless warrior. Seal. Relentless attacker. Morale when attacking. Uh, no. Let's go with... Um, either of those two. This guy has a higher level on, uh, on the seal. So we're gonna do that. See if we can reinstate the legacy. Mm, nothing really fun there. But there we go. Boom. Recruit. Come on. Get to it, men. Can't you jump into the settlement? Alright. Don't do it then. It's a great and glorious thing to die for Rome. Gonna go with um Soldiering. It's a good life. Rome needs good fighters. Something like that, and hopefully. Uh, we actually have two turns to um, to withstand them. Uh, on, we're gonna check over Hispania and see what uh, what the crack is here. In all actuality, public order is and will continue to be a problem. That really sanitation is really good. Public order also really good. So we're gonna go with a uh, reservoir right there. And we can we still have money to build something fun. And uh, yes, it is quite frustrating to see your uh, your empire is uh, being sacked and raided, and uh, you spend a lot of money on uh, on building things. But um, it will uh, it will pay in a good few turns when uh, our stable regions are um, 
yeah, more stable as it were. Uh, so it doesn't really matter that the fringe regions are being sacked and violated. That is just how it is and we'll have to deal with it. Uh, I'm gonna end the turn right now and we can see what um, what just might happen. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna edit the turn away unless something really spectacular happens so we don't waste any time with uh, these sort of combats. So be right back. All right, true friends. I edit, edited a good bit away there, but uh, it was only, yeah, you'll see now. Settlement sacked. Um, very much those sort of things and then we have um, a good few rebellions on our hands can uh, research something fun and growth or wealth we can go with either of those can also go with something here and uh, something fun wealth is always good so I'm gonna go with that choice uh, right now and these guys have actually been been friendly and next time these guys will have been created or trained properly trained so now we can increase that army or first army as it were now cunning yes that's always good and agent action cost minus three brilliant do we have anything more fun to do preach doom over an army that is uh, always a good thing because then you can join um, and preach doom over this little army right there uh, so yeah you see the um, the income is uh, increasing slowly but surely uh, we'll have a rebellion on our hands here so what I will do is actually go up and station this army right here and now we actually still have one plus in public order at, at this place, so that is uh, really good. We're gonna take some measurements to uh, avoid further uh, decline in the public order. You can look at that for example. Boom, that's a solid choice right there to uh, stave off the, um, the negativity. Also right there, now I have to be a bit careful with the food consumption because you can see that uh, 200 now it's winter though so it's a bit lower but still food consumption is uh, minus 60 if I built this uh, this little thing so um, but I will actually do that either way and look at the possibility of creating something food 50 plus from fishing that's also solid choice uh, contribute to Minus two in public order, so not optimal, but uh, that uh, we need food either way. And um, fishing is not as dependent on the decreasing fertility, which we will see in a few turns, I suppose. You can also look at these sort of things increasing. These uh, might be a good uh, good thing indeed. Sego Briga, we can look at the fertility rate there. Boom, Segovrega, and we're looking at base fertility 3, uh, so average, and that means that cattle herd is uh, probably a, a good solid choice to do right there. Toiletum can develop something fun here, uh, fountain, boom, there we are. And that's basically what we can do this turn. I don't know if we will see any fighting actually in this uh, in this episode, but um, I've come to the realization that you don't always need to have fighting in an episode to make it make it um, worthwhile to watch. And I realize that um, the sort of episodes are like um, perhaps sort of a podcast, as it were. Like you can you can listen and 
watch, like, but you don't have the, the full attention all the time, maybe. Uh, so, so yes, like, have have my soothing and gentle voice in the background, and uh, uh, so yeah. And and obviously, this is my chill episodes, and when I do other let's plays, those are more my. Those are more my like pre-workout episodes, as it were. All right, cool, governor. Boom, wealth. Yes, thank you very much. Authority, public order plus. Wonderful. I'm ending this turn right now, in all actuality, and I will edit it away unless something spectacular happens. So be right back yet again. All right, true friends, we got charged, and I noticed that we have a rather large uh, force here. Uh, they're still outnumbering us uh, two to one easily, but I think this could actually be worthwhile taking on the um, on the battle map. So we actually got a, a little fight either way. Uh, so I'm gonna do that right now. We're facing the Swabians, and it might be prudent to. Uh, Decimate them a bit at least and obviously if we can win this battle I would be um, Would be most elated uh, I wouldn't the usual garrison is like 420 men something like that, but now we have uh, Over a thousand men, so I think it's uh, it can be worthwhile to, um, to Talk you through this uh, this glorious combat as it were because I'm, as I might have said, like the the smaller battles uh, aren't really worthwhile to take because this is such a big uh, campaign as well. But um, when it's a bit more even, it can be very worthwhile to decimate the enemy to make it easier to, to reconquer them later on. Uh, it would be wonderful to actually subjugate the Swabians so that they can uh, be on our side against all the other barbarian hordes uh, coming at us from from the north. Alright, cool. What are we looking at here? There is the general. I put the barricades right there. And I think we're just going to defend this hilltop right here. We could also sally forth and try to protect the towers, but uh, since they outnumber us so very much um, it's better to just station ourselves up here we're gonna go with heavy shot Sagittari you as well and our mission will be to take out their general And now the Roman infantry is very good at uh, at defending. That is uh, one thing that is for certain. Stand ready. Defensive testudo. All right, we can actually. Do like uh, this instead and put that there and see if they are deterred from taking that route. Alright, cool. I'm gonna keep these units in, in reserve, see where we can put them later on. But now we're gonna start the battle, speeding up the gameplay just a bit. And uh, see if we can. We have sighted the enemy! Do anything fun with their general. We don't stand a chance. The enemy outnumbers us. Oh, that's not a very positive attitude, is it? And uh, I just love the graphics of Attila. It looks so bleak and full of despair. 
they really managed to portray this uh, this time period perfectly uh, with that. We're we'll obviously shooting at uh, them first and foremost. If we can get in, our troops are being ambushed. Some sort of lucky shot at their general. I would be a very happy pale orc. See, they're swarming the towers right there. We have revealed yeah. their concealed men. His the tower has general. fallen. The enemy has found our concealed units. I don't really want to charge them. They're only medium the infantry. The enemy is attacking the barricade. All right, cool. They're they're attacking there now. Uh, I do want to keep the general um, in the vicinity of the action, though. I'm gonna try to get in a uh, charger, maybe. That could be a cool thing to do. Whoop! A bit of a bit of lag here, I suppose. And uh, the Swabians are not uh, particularly careful with their uh, with their general there. Uh, I don't want to get these riders into friendly fire. But I do want... Boom. That initial impact, at least. I'm gonna see if we can uh, Enemy detach ourselves from that, um, that fight. Right, that went well enough, I suppose. If we get another charge, maybe. That would be wonderful. Now, oh, Talos, I love you! Boom. All right, not not really any shock cavalry, but um, that will have to suffice either way. All right, cool. They they did not even advance there. How wonderful! Oh, look at that! Our men have look at given that! Up and are running for their their, uh, their general is running. Wonderful! Awesome! Hopefully he will die as well. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I think the the enemy will receive um, um like a debuff in moral when their general is uh, fleeing like a like a coward. I'm gonna admire the action for a bit. Glory to Rome. Ah, love it. There we are. Kill those barbarians. Awesome indeed. I will edit the battle when we have uh, come further along the way because this is more like a like a grind fest more than anything now. So be right back. All right, cool. What I did was I uh, ran over with these guys to to get a proper um, rear shot right there. So we'll see if we can do any, any carnage and mayhem with, with those units. Also brought up uh, these guys here. 
to get uh, a rear charge and see what they can do. Also engage the, the, the archers here uh, to break these guys so we perhaps can uh, get around this way as well. And if we look at the balance of power, they have lost quite, they have lost uh, almost a thousand units, we have lost 250. So um, that, um, that bodes well. And it's, victory might not be an impossibility. And I hope I will obtain a victory now that I, that I said that. All right, cool. I edited that way also until they got uh, until they didn't have any ammunition left. Now we're gonna charge in here. You see, they're starting to break away the blasphemous enemy, and they are proud sons of Rome coming in there to uh, to wreak chaos and mayhem. Uh, and you see now they're they're routing. They are routing true friends. They are indeed regretting their uh, silly mistake of, uh, of trying to um, attack Rome like that. I see now the, the whole army is just uh, they're breaking off. Wonderful. I did not think we would have this, but um, I'm just going to round them up. Um, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Wish we had some cavalry now so we can swoop in and uh, just annihilate them. Alright, I might have proclaimed victory a bit prematurely there, but uh, I edited away the, the little route. Um, they've managed to rally some units and they still have this block, which is uh, a cause for. Um, Worry, as it were. However, we are double the, the amount of men right now, so uh, I suppose they will not rally these guys. We can you just get around there with them? The men are broken and running for their lives! Okay, so they have. Not good at all. They managed to break this. Uh... Break these units. Now the balance of power is still in our favor. However, if they get this, they will have a morale bonus, which then could possibly lead to them rallying their men. Our men return to the fight! And now I don't want to lose this because I, um, yeah, you see how, how close we are to victory right now, so I, I am not relinquishing this glorious victory for Rome. Exhausted, taking fire. Ah, stand for me. And there we are, brilliant, yes. Beautiful, close victory. Ah, that felt um, felt rather good. I hope it was fine with all of my edits and cuts there, but I thought to like um, don't want to spend too much time just uh, watching the the grind, as it were. But uh, but yeah, cool. We got um, we got them. Take on warriors. Yes, please. Are oh, they coming again? Ah, oh, for the love of God. So we did that in vain. Oh, well, they fought bravely and we got a, a battle at least in, in this episode. Um, then the king came and... Right. Um, I'm gonna send out an army to subjugate them, I think. We can use the, the army stationed in uh, northern Italy. Alrighty then, I um, 
edited the rest of the turn away right there and uh, I think we can round this uh, glorious episode up right here so what we're looking at doing next turn a rebel army right there obviously not good one bit I'm gonna see if we can out resolve that straight away actually beginning my journey for Rome Ah, oh, beautiful. We could, actually. Uh, we're gonna take on those warriors. So, um, alright, yeah, I will leave this episode right here. Thank you very much for watching as usual, or listening, or however you participated in this, uh, this quest to restore Rome's honor. So, yeah, we have, um, see, the, the income is good, we can continue to just uh, defend and uh, build etc uh, keeping the core regions intact that will lead us to victory eventually so yeah thank you very much for watching and who am I I'm the proud champion of God himself XXO boom